Have you ever wondered what that 17 character code is on the driver's side of the dashboard? Say hello to the vehicle identification number, or VIN for short. Think of it as a social security number for your car. So while license plates and titles can change, your VIN stays with your vehicle for its entire life. So what is a vehicle identification number exactly? It's a unique 17 character code assigned to every car, truck, and motorcycle when it's manufactured. Every vehicle has exactly one VIN and it stays the same for the vehicle's entire lifetime. Now, VINs aren't just some random collection of letters and numbers. They actually follow a specific system that is used across the entire car industry. You have make, model, country, and trim level are all encoded in the VIN. So it's the serial number that makes each VIN unique for every vehicle. You can find your car's VIN stamped on the driver's side dashboard near the windshield. Now, once you have the VIN, you can unlock a ton of information about the vehicle as long as you know how to interpret it. Wondering why VINs are important and what you might want to use them for? We'll explain. First, VIN numbers encode crucial information about a vehicle. The VIN can tell you everything from the make, the model, the year, the engine type, even the factory a car was built in. In addition, VIN numbers act as a fingerprint of sorts for cars. Through sales, title transfers, and license plate changes, the VIN stays the same. That means you can get a fuller picture of a car's entire history by searching the VIN. Has the car ever been in an accident? Has it ever been stolen? Has it ever had flood damage? You're going to have an easier time answering these kinds of questions if you have that VIN number handy. Modern 17 character VINs are split into three sections the world manufacturer identifier, the vehicle descriptor, and the vehicle identifier. Let's break it down. The first three characters are the world manufacturer identifier. These indicate where the vehicle was built and the make of the vehicle. The first value tells you the country where the car was assembled, while the second value tells you the manufacturer, and the third value tells you the make or brand. The next five characters are the vehicle descriptor section. This section breaks down the vehicle's brand, engine size, and type. If you're buying a car and you're not sure the seller is being completely accurate about what kind of car it is, this is the section you should pay attention to. The fourth and fifth values of a VIN indicate the model and trim level. The sixth value tells you the body style, sedan, coupe, wagon. The seventh indicates the installed safety equipment. And the eighth value is the engine code, telling you the type of engine that was installed at the factory. Definitely something to look for if you're buying a classic car. The final nine characters are known as the vehicle identifier section. The ninth value here is a security code to prove that the VIN is valid. The 10th indicates the model year, also something to pay attention to. The 11th value is the car's factory code. It'll tell you which factory the car was made in. The final six digits act as the car's serial number. They won't give you any information on the car itself, they exist so that every car has a unique identifier and thus a unique VIN. The VIN is a way to track a car throughout its entire lifetime. State DMVs track VIN numbers, so do insurance companies and car auctions. By searching a car's VIN, you can get what's known as a vehicle history report. It'll tell you the important details about what's happened to a car since it rolled off the assembly line. To get a vehicle history report, you'll need to search a VIN using a specialized service. Bumper is one of them, but there are others out there too. Most vehicle history reports aren't free, but they can come in really handy. If you want to learn more about a car you own, a vehicle history report could have important safety info, such as whether there are any outstanding recalls. You might also see if the car is still under warranty. When you're in the market for a used car, a VIN search can help you double check that you're getting a good car at a good price. Things like past accidents and thefts can lower the value of the vehicle. With the information you find, you might be able to negotiate a better price. And if you're selling a car, getting a vehicle history report is a good place to start. You might find an estimate of the car's market value, as well as fairly reliable information that you can share with potential buyers if they have any questions. So that's all you need to know about VINs. Whether you're decoding one yourself or searching a vehicle's history, VINs provide a wealth of information about a vehicle. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more guides and how-tos. And if there's anything else you want to learn about, drop us a comment below. Thanks for watching.